Hey guys, it is a Wednesday, March 17th, and I have 17 eBay orders to ship out today. Let's get to work. First thing is something I pulled from storage. This is a Harley Davidson t-shirt. I picked this up probably like three or four months ago. I went to a garage sale and they had like 10 pieces of Harley clothing. I got it all for a dollar each. This one right here sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next few sales are all going out to viewers that reached out to me via email. Uh, first thing is this pair of Bessie clamps. These things are huge and they're really heavy. I bought them maybe a month ago as part of a bulk buy. Had them listed on eBay for like $100 or best offer uh, for each one just because I couldn't find comps. A uh, viewer named Nick reached out about them and I sold them to him for $150 for the pair, free shipping. Next is this Jurassic Lost World camera with the case. That's going out to Timothy for $15 free shipping. And lastly is this Nylant truck that is going out to Felicia for $25 free shipping. Nick, Timothy, and Felicia, I want to thank you guys all so much for the support. It really means a lot. All right, next thing going out is an aero saw. Right back in here, I've got the attachments for it. And then we've got the actual saw itself. This is part of that big hunting buy I just made. And I didn't even know these kind of things even existed, but this is to cut arrows. So you measure them out here and then put them through there and cut it. And then all the, you know, the little scraps and stuff. Like this is the dust collector. So pretty neat. This sold for $149.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a cool one. It is on B3 right back here. Something I got from my guy, Mike. And I've never seen these before. These are... Uh, metal frames for windows in a Model T. Let's see if I can wiggle them out of here. Has the original cardboard. Um, there would have been glass with these originally, but I just had the frames. Really cool piece. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold a couple of pieces of hunting gear. Um, let's see, two of them go into the same buyer. First thing is on C1. It's right up here. This is a big tree harness by tree spider that sold for $29.99 plus shipping and i got another piece over in f41 let's move this rack out of the way right here this is a badlands binocular shoulder strap harness that sold for $17.99 plus shipping your name jamie got both of those pieces jamie thanks so much for the support next sale is on or in c32 let's see Juvatress Revitalizing Hair Therapy. I got three of these um, from a recent Wapakoneta trip where I bought a bunch of stuff. So I've maybe got five, ten dollars into it. That's all for $49.99 free shipping. Next sale is on E4. This guy right here. This is a bear keg. So if you're going hunting, camping, whatever, and you've got food or something that you don't want a bear to get, you put it in here. That's all for $44.99 plus shipping. Sold a couple pieces of old brewery ephemera that I recently purchased. You guys saw me buy this last week. I got like 25 or so pieces for 70 bucks. I've started listing them. I think I've listed, you know, 10, 11, something like that. That's how I've been labeling these things. And two of them sold already. Let's see. We sold LH2. So I've been labeling these as LH for letterhead. So it's going to be down here at the bottom. It is this one right here. Ferdinand, Westheimer, and Sons. Just has some really cool graphics on this letterhead. Shows the factories and everything. That one sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And then the second one is LH5. So that is this one right here. J.A. Freiburg Distillers, uh, also out of Cincinnati. Cincinnati has a lot of brewery history and distiller history, all that stuff. Um, that sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is a puzzle. Let's see, over here on E2, underneath all this stuff. This is a Thomas Kincaid puzzle, 1,000 pieces, painter of light. Something I got in a book buy a couple months ago. I have about a dollar into it. Sold for $14.99 plus shipping, and it's going out to your name, Allison. Allison sent a note with the purchase I want to read. She says, hey, John, I've been watching you and your wife's videos and wanted to show my support. My grandmother and I trade puzzles back and forth, so this is perfect. I'm sending it to her to do first and I will get it after. Hope all is going well with the new kiddos, Allison. Allison, thanks so much for the kind words and the support. I hope you and your grandma like that puzzle. Next up is a couple of lots of Hot Wheels that I auctioned off. Let's see, first is down on C5. It is this lot right here. There's 20 cars total. 
start them at a dollar. They sold for $18.50 plus shipping. And next is over here on D1. This is also 20 cars. Did an auction with these as well, starting at a dollar. Those sold for $21.50 plus shipping. Sold some more Hot Wheels cars. Let's see, down here in B5, uh, right here. This is a lot of 29 vintage loose cars. There's Matchbox, Hot Wheels, I think there's like a Corgi or Corgi or however you pronounce those. Uh, those I did for auction as well and they sold for $20.50 plus shipping. And those cars are going out to a viewer named Dallas. Dallas, thanks so much for the business. I hope you like those cars. Okay, next thing is a VHS tape in C31. Slide this out of the way. Right here. Spirited Away, something I got recently as part of a book buy, and my buddy Danny of the Pickle Resellers channel surprised me and bought this, so thank you Danny. Uh, that's all for $17.99, free shipping. Next is an E31. It is a Ninja Turtle action figure. This guy right here. Let's see, I forgot what his name is. Leatherhead. Uh, that sold for $12.99, free shipping. That action figure is going out to viewer named Mike. He says, hey, John, my wife and I really enjoy your channel and have learned a lot. Could we get some stickers and a shout out for one or both, if you're feeling generous, I'm feeling generous, uh, of our seller pages. Mike is Arkansas Oddities and Crystal is Treehouse Treasures. Thanks for all the info. Would love to see some more packing tips. Mike and Crystal, thank you guys both so much for the support. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. All right, just a few more orders going out for today. Uh, next is down to B51. This is a really cool piece. Also something I got in a recent Wapakoneta trip. This is an old uh, doorbell with the original box, which is pretty rare to find. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Last thing we're pulling for the day is right over here. This is a 19... I think 84 1984 spy door figure uh, from he-man something i got from the pickle resellers that's all for 39.99 plus shipping it's thursday morning i have eight ebay orders to ship out but first i want to show you guys some things that i've been doing to the warehouse i went ahead and put a shelf up here and i'm putting another one there and then i'm going to put two up here just to have some extra storage for boxes and different things i changed up my photo station i actually did this a few weeks ago I used to have like a vinyl like drop cloth thing, but it just got so dirty. Like I'd wash it and everything, but over the years it just got kind of gross. And I found this at Menards. This was a long piece of uh, Plastex wall panel. It's kind of like Wayne's coating, something that you'd maybe put on a bathroom wall. And I actually cut it. So this was one long piece and I cut it so that I'd have one piece on the table and one piece on the wall. Didn't do anything fancy to put it up, just some duct tape on the sides, but the pictures look really good and this wipes clean really easily. So I thought I'd give you guys a heads up. You know, if you need a good photo area, I think this works pretty well. I only paid 20 bucks and I want to say it was like four feet by eight feet. Then right here, I got a new calendar. The other whiteboard I had was just so small and I did, you know, not a lot of room to write what I wanted to do. So this is helping me keep track of my daily and weekly sales and my, uh, I mean, my listings. And then my monthly sales too, so I really liked having this. And last thing, put up a couple shelves to display some cards and Funko Pops. Just thought I'd add a little bit of flair to the shipping station. All right, first few orders I pulled for my storage unit. This is a Matchbox 20 t-shirt I got from the Mojo Casher crew. That sold for $29.99, free shipping. Sold this Harley backpack uh, for $14.99 plus shipping. I've only got a couple dollars into that. I sold a yearbook. This is from 1969. High school is Miami East High School in Castown, Ohio. Not exactly sure where that is. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And the last thing I pulled from the storage unit is a North Face vest. That's something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. So I've got about $5 to do it. That sold for $22.99 plus shipping. And we got a couple of things going out to viewers that reached out via email. Uh, this Squire pink guitar I got from uh, Danny of Picor Resellers. That is going out to Curtis for $100 free shipping. And this set of snowflake glasses, there are six of them. I actually have two lots of six of these. These are by, I want to say Continental Glass Company. Maybe Continental Can. There's that Hallmark down there and it's like CC. Um, but anytime you guys find, you know, unique, cool vintage glassware, garage house, if it's really cheap, pick it up because it can sell for some decent money. These aren't super valuable. The set of six sold for $35 free shipping. Curtis and Veronica, thank you guys so much for the support. All right, next thing going out is a gun case on B3. This one right here. 
It is a vintage case, but it's a nice one, and it's in really good condition. The brand is called Doscosil. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And here, I'll try to open this up and show you guys. Got a lot of padding inside. It's got the original keys. It even has the original receipt from 1988. Check that out. Got this in a bulk buy maybe a month ago. I think I've got about $20 into it. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Sold some more of this ephemera, so let's pull this down. I sold three pieces to the same buyer. We've got LH5, I'm sorry, LH15, LH16, and LH19. LH stands for letterhead. That's just my personal code that I use. So here's 19. It's an old Union Distilling Company letterhead. That's just one piece. And then we've got 15 and 16. And look at that. They're together in the same thing. So we got a Sinton Distilling Company letterhead. And this one right here has some really cool graphics. This is a Lipman and Company uh, from 1906. Same buyer got all three of these for $94.97 plus shipping. And I'll just combine them all in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. I already didn't say that they're a viewer of the channel, but I recognize the username. So, Michael, if you're watching this, thanks so much for the support. Next thing is a book, uh, Bedlam's Bard by Mercedes Lackey. Uh, this one right here. This was in that big lot of books I got from that garage sale last year where I had $0.10 cents in each one. This one sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a lot of cards in C4. It is autograph cards, patch cards. They're all football. There's a total of 14 of them. I did an auction starting at a dollar. They sold for $41 plus shipping. Those cards are going out to a viewer named Shane. He says, hey, John, long time viewer and first time buyer. I love watching your videos, especially when you come to the West Side, since I live in Delhi. I picked these cards up for my nine-year-old son and he will love them. If you could throw in some stickers, that would be awesome. Thanks again, who day and go Reds, Shane. Shane, thank you so much. I hope your son likes those cards and I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. It's Friday morning. I've got a dozen eBay orders to ship out and I've got one order going out to a viewer. A viewer named Justin reached out about these model cars I just picked up with the uh, box tops and I sold them to him for $125 free shipping. Justin, thanks so much for the support. I hope you like those cars. All right, we sold some more ephemera. A lot of this has sold this week. I thought it was going to take longer to sell than what it's been. Let's see, first thing that sold is... LH11 should be down in here somewhere. Um, 8, 9, 12. Here we go. LH11 is on the reverse. This one right here from H. Rosenthal and Sons, uh, 1904. That sold for $20 plus shipping. Then another buyer got the reverse side, LH10 from Bluthenthal and Bickert. Uh, from 1900 and that buyer also got LH14 that is Brookville distilling from 1910 and these two sold to that buyer for $59.98 plus shipping. Your name Nate bought those too. He says afternoon I've been watching the channel for a while now and always try to look through your eBay store after each video. I love history and whiskey so this just made sense. These will find a great home here in central Pennsylvania. Thanks. Nate thanks so much for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing going out is down here an F-52. It is from that big hunting buy I made. A lot of that stuff is selling. This is a little archery scale, so you can weigh your arrows. That sold for $24.99, free shipping. Sold a Funko Pop right here on the A3 shelf. This is the Philly Fanatic. And if you look up here, I've been buying up MLB mascot Funkos. Started collecting them, and I bought two of these. So I just went ahead and resold it, and it sold for $19.99, free shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Phil, who is clearly a Phillies fan, which I think is pretty cool. Phil, thanks so much for the support. Next thing is in C42. It is a Minnesota Vikings hat. Let's see, the maker is Anco. It is a vintage hat, snapback. I got this from the Mojo Casher crew as part of a bulk buy. I've got seven or eight dollars into it. Took it by software of twenty dollars plus shipping. All right, made a mistake. I sold one more piece of ephemera that I forgot to pull out. It is LH7, so probably about halfway down here. Not that one. Here it is. Look at the calligraphy on that. That is so cool. This is from 1879 from Mueller and Company Whiskey Merchants. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a big one in C42. I guess I could have went ahead and got this when I pulled out that hat. This is a Dale Jarrett case knife. And if you guys know anything about knives, K 
Case is one of the best brands you can get. They're just really high quality. I got this in an online auction maybe like two months ago. I paid up for it. I paid like 120 or something. It was definitely over $100. And I listed it for 300 and I think I lowered the price a little bit. Somebody offered me $200 plus shipping and I accepted. Next is a label maker right down here with the case. This is by Brady. Got this from my guy Mike. I actually bought another Brady label maker from him maybe like three or four months ago and it sold pretty quick. And this one sold pretty quick too. I only bought this maybe a month ago. Well, see if I can get this thing open and show you guys. It has this really nice case with it. Has some uh, cartridges and everything. Really clean too. Works great. That's sold for $44.99 plus shipping. All right guys, I think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I swear that I looked through my sold items and I pulled all the pieces of ephemera, but there is still one more to pull. Okay, we gotta find LH6. Let's see. Okay, here it is. This is from the Mill Creek Distilling Company. I think what added the value to this one is that nice picture of the factory. And it's got some really good calligraphy too. This is from 1897. This one sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Sold a couple of patches. Let's see, they should be in here. It's a set of two. I got a ton of military patches at a garage sale last year and I've been slowly selling through them. Is it this one? 400 and no, it's not that one. Here it is. The uh, 4950th Test Wing Air Force patches. The pair sold for $8.99 free shipping. Let's go down to a viewer. He says, hi John, my name is Rick. Love your YouTube channel. I'm a big fan. You've inspired me to dig deep into my closets. These patches will add to my collection. Thanks for the great family content. We love it. Wishing all the best. Rick, thanks so much for the kind words. I hope you like those patches. Next sale is a diecast car. Dale Jarrett. Uh, a couple there Dale Jarrett things have sold. We sold that knife and now we're selling a diecast. Let's see, I've got two of them side by side here, but I believe this is the one that's sold. I got this a few months ago for about $5 as part of a bulk buy, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing we're shipping out today is this Teak 5-disc changer with the remote. Let's see if I can dig it out of here. I got this, I think, two, three weeks ago. Part of that bulk buy stuff I got up in Wapakoneta and it worked great. It was clean, had the remote and everything. That's over $49.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, before I end this video, I've got some viewer mail I want to open. First thing is from Ohio Blade and Cutlery. Not too far from me, actually. Hey, John, fellow Ohio YouTuber here, just north of Dayton. I've been watching your videos for the past year and love the content. I never miss an upload. Anyway, I included a sticker for your table and a knife for opening packages and such. Enjoy and keep up the great work. Andy from Ohio Blade and Cutlery. And there is the sticker for my workbench. Oh man, this looks really nice. Just the case alone is really nice. Wow, that is a nice knife. You, you know when you pick up a knife, you can just tell it's well made. That is sharp. Look at that. Andy, thank you, man. That is really cool. Okay, next is from Daniel in Indiana. John wanted to send you some stickers from my channel. Thanks so much. All right. This is Art Vandelay. I've watched his channel for a while now. Really nice guy. We've got 500 sub crew sticker, and we've got... This is really cool. It's like a political button. I, subscri uh, I subscribed Art Vandelay. That is awesome. Thanks, Dan. If you guys are wondering why I'm getting stickers, two or three videos ago, I showed that I'm starting to put stickers on my workbench of YouTube channels. So I shouted out everybody like, hey, if you've got a YouTube channel and you got a sticker, send it to me. Okay, next is from Attic 10 Flips in Florida. I have an eBay channel and trying to make a go at it. I would be honored to have my company sticker on your bench. Love your show. Thank you for all that you do, Ronnie. And there is the sticker. That's, that's slick. It's got a uh, couple of old suitcases. Nice vintage look to it. Thank you, Ronnie. I'll put these on the bench. All right, last but not least is this big thing right here. 
my <laughs> postman said that it had like come apart in shipping. I guess, you know, the post office was just banging this thing around and they had to retape it. But he said everything should be good to go. So let's crack this open here. Hello, John, I am sending this stuff for you to sell or keep. I thought you could sell what you don't want and take your family out to dinner. That's really nice. I enjoy the videos and learn a lot. Hope you like what I sent you and hopefully you make enough to buy your wife more Funko Pops. <laughs> She is a collector. I'm still searching for that item on your eBay that I can't live without, and I'm still rocking the bad to the bone patch. I remember that. Thanks again. Keep on keeping on from Adam. All right, so in this part of the box, there was a bunch of cards. So we got basketball cards, more basketball cards, uh, two more packs of basketball cards. This says special picks. Kind of intrigued to see what's in here. Oh, wow. There's Jerry Rice and Joe Montana. Got Tim Harris, Jeff George, Bo Diaz, Barry Bonds, Jose Canseco. Got a Chipper Jones card. Oh, this is awesome. Here is a Michael Jordan Chicago White Sox card when he played baseball. That's really neat. Got a Cal Ripken Jr. autograph. That's cool. Look at that. And then in here, got a wood bat. Oh, wow. It's signed, too. This is cool. Carlos Gonzalez for the Colorado Rockies with MLB authentication. If you guys haven't seen these little stickers, MLB um, does authentication with autographs and, you know, game news bats and things like that. And there's little codes on here where you go to their website and you can look it up. That is awesome. Adam, thank you so much, man. This is really cool. All right, let's go ahead and put some stickers on the workbench. Got Art Vandelay. Ohio Blade and Cutlery and Attic Tin Flips. I will put a link down below in the description for each of these channels if you guys want to check them out. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.